Hrithik Roshan, a name synonymous with charisma, talent and sheer dedication. From his early days in Laksh to his latest film Fighter, he's consistently raised the bar in Bollywood. But amidst his stellar performances, have we the audience truly appreciated his journey? Now we often credit star power, a seasoned director or a bold producer for the massive success of a film. But let's face it, that's just the standard playbook which may or may not work. Take the recent release of Fighter for instance. It boasted A-list actors, a respected director, critical acclaim and enthusiastic audience feedback. Despite all these ingredients, its box office performance left everyone scratching their heads. Was it the Top Gun comparisons, lackluster promotions, too much nationalism shoved in our faces, or here's the biggie? Have we the audience straight up turned our backs on Hrithik Roshan? Have we rejected him completely? Fiza, Mission Kashmir, Laksh, Guzarish and Vikram Veda. All these movies have one thing in common, apart from the abysmal box office. Hrithik Roshan. Strong character-driven stories rejected by the audience only to be later appreciated by the audience. So much so that when Vikram Veda failed, Hrithik publicly stated that he would be even more conscious when choosing future projects. And he emphasized it in a candid interview with Anupama Chopra. In Laksh, Hrithik mesmerized us with his transformation from a carefree young man to a determined soldier navigating the complexities of life and war. His portrayal of Karan Shergil was not just about donning the uniform but delving into the psyche of a man finding purpose amidst chaos. Yet, we did not give him the credit he deserved for breathing life into such a nuanced character. Guzare showcased Hrithik's ability to evoke empathy and admiration simultaneously. As a paralyzed magician, Ethan Mascarena touched our hearts by portraying resilience and longing for dignity. His nuanced performance depicted the depths of human emotions with such finesse that it left an indelible mark on our souls. But did we truly appreciate the depth of his portrayal and the emotional journey he took us on? In Vikram Veda, Hrithik embodied the role of the enigmatic and cunning gangster Veda, engaging in a complex cat and mouse game with the relentless police officer. His portrayal was marked by charisma, intensity and a calculated demeanor. Yet, amidst the adrenaline pumping action and gripping narrative, did we acknowledge the sheer brilliance of his performance? And a lot was riding on Fighter, a role in which Hrithik immersed himself completely. He took the star out of the stardom to deliver the hard-working, emotional and fearless fighter, Paddy. The movie had everything. High octane action, emotion, powerful acting performances, and amazing VFX. So what went wrong? After a successful launch in Kahona Pyare, movies like Fiza and Mission Kashmir were way too experimental for the big star and didn't settle with his fan base, including me. I must admit that some of his movie choices were ridiculous in the beginning. But over time, Rithik evolved as an actor, effortlessly donning multiple hats and showcasing his range through movies like Koi Milgya and Jodha Akbar. As an audience, we have accepted mediocre films of many actors and failed to recognize genuine magical acting. It is a bit baffling to see the box office numbers for Fighter and it is very evident in Hrithik's body language in his recent interviews post-release. Now we can blame it all on the comparison with Top Gun. Yes, this was passively one of the biggest reasons. The aerial shots, the ego of the best pilot, the playing alone, not caring about the team attitude, all that is there. But they are merely inspirations and it would be unfair to not watch Fighter solely on the assumption that it's a copy of Top Gun. Now we can blame it all on the movie's lack of hype. While lower expectations usually mitigate potential disappointment, it's noteworthy that in an industry where films like Pathan, Jawan and Animal was surpassing the 600 crore mark and aggressive marketing has become the norm, Fighter didn't generate substantial buzz. Without a box office clash like Donkey Salar or Animal Sam Bahadur, the makers relied too heavily on the Republic Day weekend and positive word of mouth to draw audiences. But we didn't see enough promotions in the week preceding the release. We can also blame it on the overuse of the India-Pakistan conflict. This theme of us versus them has become a recurring theme in films like Pathan, Tiger and Gadar and filmmakers have overdone it to an extent where the dialogue sound cringy and the feeling is jingoistic. Or we can blame the audience. There were even reports that people expected tanks to be blown up and ground forces to shoot down enemies instead of just planes. I mean, come on, haven't we seen enough of that? We have seen so many movies on land forces, but none, none on air force, especially one like Fighter. So here is my ask to the audience. Do you want Hrithik Roshan to play nonsensical roles, over-the-top action movies with no story and soul, where all we want is for him to dance? No, I don't want to see that. And I hope you also don't want to see that. So ask yourselves, have you as an audience failed Hrithik Roshan? Here is my message to my favorite superstar. Throughout your career, you have strived to challenge yourself with diverse roles, push the boundaries of storytelling and connect it with us on a deeper level. And as an actor, you have relied on our support and recognition to fuel your passion and creativity. Each character you have brought to life is a labor of love and as an audience, we haven't made it worthwhile for you. I have personally admired your honesty and even though we always expect the best from you, on the flip side, we have failed you. But sir, please don't stop doing what you do. You are a remarkable actor and a source of inspiration. No one can take that away from you. So there you have it folks. 
I hope you enjoyed this exploration and feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below to keep the discussion going. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for more deep dives into the world of cinema. You can also follow us on Instagram and X. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to explore more content from our channel on the next screen. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.